Right then, everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week with me, Ranger Chris. Um, and today's Fossil of the Week is all to do with this. The Spinosaurus um, aegypticus, a very cool semi-aquatic dinosaur with a magnificent crocodilian-like tail, crocodilian-like snout. Um, we've got lots and lots of fossils and replicas from this amazing dinosaur, including this, the amazing rostrum. We call it a rostrum. Um, it actually is the snout um, part of this amazing dinosaur. It's got this little uh, section here you can see um, that would have been used to catch those big slippery fish um, with the teeth sort of pointing inwards. In much it also easier. had these huge teeth. Here's a good little example of one. I hope you can see that um, in this light. Um, very straight, very pointy. Um, here's a very big one. Unfortunately, it's a little bit damaged, but a Spinosaurus tooth. Now, they're perfectly adapted for catching fish, of course, because it was semi-aquatic. It would go in water and hunt lots and lots of things like sawfish and things. Um, now, just behind, this is a reconstruction of the Spinosaurus's hand. Look at the size on that. Using this big front arms. Um, you can see them here. Oh, evidence now, shows now that um, maybe it walked on four legs, the, the two back and the, front, the two front there. Um, it also could go bipedal, of course, but, you know, lots of things change um, in science all the time. But these were the front arms, those huge claws, perfect again for scooping up those fish. So this dinosaur um, was awesome. Let me just put that back there for a minute, guys. Um, here is a very large claw. Um, one of those front claws from the Spinosaur. Um, you can see they're huge, okay? Remember, this would have a sheath of keratin over the top as to Keratin, for those who don't know, is what our fingernails are made out of. And it would use the keratin sheath um, to make it a bit longer, a bit sharper. So perfect, again, for pointing those fish. Everything about this dinosaur um, kind of leads to the way that they definitely were semi-aquatic uh, dinosaurs. Crocodilian-like snout, crocodilian-like tail. These little pit sensors here, okay, um, crocodiles have them as well. So they could actually sense fish in the water. It could put his snout deep into the water. Let me grab it. Can you see them? It could put that snout in the water. Um, could hold it there for a long period of time until maybe a large fish would come past. It would sense that fish and then attack. So um, it was awesome. Hopefully I can put this back on. So. That was um, today's fossil of the week. A few different fossils, teeth, rostrum, and a hand from the Spinosaurus aegypticus. Um, you can just about make it out to the side. That was Baryonyx, though. Another member of the same family. But today we're concentrating on that amazing rostrum.